Welcome to the Highlands Museum and Discovery Center, where the past and the future are coming together. We are so excited to show you around here. We are in the Country Music Heritage Hall with Kim Jenkins, the director here. This is probably, I know, one of the most popular areas that people love to visit, because you walk in and I mean, I see these pictures and I'm like, you're taking me back. I can hear music already. You're exactly right. And we're fortunate to be situated on Country Music Highway, US 23. We have so many famous people from our area, sure and a lot of them are showcased here in the Heritage Hall. Right when you walk in, this big exhibit and tribute to Winona and Naomi Judd, yes. they have just been probably phenomenal. The family's been great partners with you all because you have gorgeous costumes, albums, uh, notes, you know, personal oh, notes. Yeah. yeah, things they've worn in their hair and yeah. everything else. There's Boots. Na Naomi's autograph this tour bus toy over uh, here that they, they've been great what are some of the other um, popular music artists well, that are on the, here? you know the opposite side of the venue is Billy Ray Cyrus and that's obviously always really popular and then um, we, there's all of the people that were from here like Keith Whitley and Patti Loveless and Ricky Skaggs and Dwight Yoakam and Loretta Lynn and Crystal Gale they're all showcased in here. Love it. And this, this museum, this is just one part of it, right, that people love to visit. I mean, kind of describe for us the purpose of the museum and how long it's been here and what all you have here. The Highlands Museum and Discovery Center opened in 1984, so we've been around for 38 years. We started in the historic Mayo Mansion and we outgrew that space and we migrated over to this building, which is a 100-year-old original Parsons department store, which was the premier shopping experience in Eastern Kentucky back then. It even was when I was a child. On the second, the mezzanine of the old department store which is where all of our historical collections are housed. And the World War II exhibit is extremely popular and is an exemplary exhibit for a community of our size. And people are just wowed by that exhibit. They walk away saying, I can't believe you have that there. And so that's really great. We have a stellar vintage clothing collection that's really popular. And then we are blessed to have a lot of sports icons from our area, just like the country music. What's folks. going on here? There's something <laughs> in the great. water. Yeah. <laughs> and so presently, um, it's tennis, the sport of kings, mm -hmm. and our local tennis professional, Julie, the late Julie Diddy, is showcased there. From the beginning, this is a place where the past and the future come together. And you're really beginning to see that because while you're really documenting and celebrating the history of Ashland and, and, and those from the Ashland area, you all are on the verge of a, of a major move forward with this Discovery Center where children can come and it's, it's state of the art. Kind of where are you with that? Well, we, we presently have a Discovery Center on our lower level and it's been there for 20 years. The board decided that children were the, the future for all of us and we needed to capitalize on that and develop a state-of-the-art discovery center. And we're working on that on the second floor of our building. When it opens, it is going to be 12,000 square feet of wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. It's really interactive great. things. It's to entirely kids it's entire there's 14 interactive exhibits, two interactive classrooms, and a small theater. This was a massive multi what? It's million? a 3.8 million dollar project. Yeah. It's been a you know community partnership to get that going. And the show's called Hometown Proud, uh, and you're, you're local, you're from here. Why are you proud to not only be from here, but to, to be witness to the growth that's happening right here in this museum? I'm a Ashland girl, and I am delighted to be the director here at the museum. I'm hometown proud because I've lived elsewhere, and I've come home. I've been here for a long time, but I did come home and I found out that this is the greatest place to raise kids and have a family and live life. And there's so much happening here in the last five years. It's just knocking our socks off. Right, so once again, the Highlands Museum will literally be sitting right, right in the middle of in it. in the middle. All right, well, thank you so much for showing us around. So if you want to find out more about the Highlands Museum, the projects, hours of operations, and tickets, just go to highlandsmuseum.com. Been a